Well, hi there. Just want to take a minute to uh, talk about this uh, upcoming school year. Some of you might be taking pre-calculus and you might be wondering what is my first day going to be like? So what I thought I would do is share my screen with you and just go over a few basic concepts to kind of get the review going. So give me just a moment, pull this up. Okay. All right, so just to review about the rectangular coordinate system. It's also called the Cartesian plane and there are how many? Four quadrants. Starting with the upper right, that's gonna be quadrant one. And then we go counterclockwise, quadrants two, three, and four. So we've got the uh, horizontal number line going this way, that's called the x-axis. And then the vertical is called the y-axis. And whenever we plot points in this coordinate plane, we're going to use the horizontal to be the X and the vertical to be the Y. And we list it in the form of X comma Y. So if I wanted to do plot the point two comma three, I'm going to start at my origin and I'm going to go two to the right, which would be in the X direction. And then I'm going to go up three, which is in the Y direction. And there's my point two comma three. It's always a good idea to label when you're plotting points. And let's say another one, if I had negative two comma negative one. Now I'm going to go two to the left, starting at the origin, two to the left and one down. And so there's my point negative two, negative one. Okay, so let's go on to the next topic. Oops. Forgot to clear my drawings. All right, so Pythagorean theorem, we're gonna use this a lot in pre-calc. Just start with a basic problem. Donna's TV screen is 20 inches long. And if the diagonal measures 25 inches, then how long is the width? So we're just gonna draw us a little diagram here. There's the TV screen. And we've got the length is 20 inches. And then the diagonal, which is going like this, is 25 inches. And Usually when you buy a TV, they only give you what the diagonal is. So if you bought a 32 inch TV, you're really buying one as a 32 inch diagonal screen. Okay, so remember the Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. So if we draw a little box right there, we've got a right triangle we're dealing with and we're gonna call this A and this B and this C. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm gonna substitute what I know, which is the b squared would be 20 squared. The c squared is gonna be 25 squared. So we calculate this out. This is gonna be 400. This is gonna be 625. So we subtract 400 from both sides we'll get a squared equal to 225. Now to find out what a is, I just take the square root. So I'm gonna take the square root of both sides. And square root of a squared is a, square root of 225 is 15. So the width of Donna's TV is going to be 15 inches. All right, let's go down and we're going to talk about one more topic. 
Uh, I think we'll skip the distance formula being like Pythagorean theorem. Let's just talk about midpoint formula. When you're trying to find the midpoint between two points and the coordinate plane, you're going to use this formula, x1 plus x2 over 2, and then x or y1 plus y2 over 2. So what's the x1 and x2? Well, we've got two different points here. So this is going to be the first x point, and this is going to be the second one. And this will be the first y, and this will be the second y. I think it's a good idea before you start any problem like this to label everything because it's too easy to, when you're transferring numbers into the formula, it's too easy to look back and pick the wrong one. So this way we can keep it straight. So the midpoint here, x1, if we look over here, that's 6.4. x2 is negative 10.7. And that's over 2. And then there's a comma. And then we have y1, which is 3. y2 is 4. And that's over 2. So what we're actually calculating is the x-coordinate of the midpoint and the y-coordinate of the midpoint. So let's go ahead and calculate this out. Negative 10.7 plus 6.4 is going to be, let's see, I'm going to do this in my head. Negative 4.3 over 2. And this is 7 over 2. And so we divide this out. This is negative 2.15 comma and it's 3.5. So that gives me the coordinates of the midpoint. Midpoint, if, if the two points were like this, the midpoint would be halfway. Okay, so that's just a quick review for uh, pre-calculus, what you might expect on your first day in class. And we'll have some more videos. So uh, if you'll just click the subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified when I have some new videos out. All righty. Any comments are welcome below. And we'll see you in the next video.